Hello and welcome to The Takeaway with Tyra. Thank you for joining me today. Now so that you don't miss out on any of my updates, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also like hearing from you, so go ahead and like and comment. My guests are always exciting and have great things to share with us. What I do on this show is I have one guest and I ask them one question. Then they get the floor for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. So here we go. Okay, we are here with Jeffrey Morlock. Welcome, Jeffrey. Hello, Thank hello. <laughs> I love that. I love your intros. Hello. You always know it's Jeffrey. That's awesome. So thanks for joining me today in The Takeaway. And uh, as we know, we have one guest, yourself, and I'm going to ask you one question, and then you're going to have the floor to answer. So earlier on, when I had first met you and we were talking about the ebook and different things going on, you kind of told me a story. So my question, and I think it's so valuable for people to hear this, my question is, before you came into On Passive, you had heard about it, but you set about starting to, uh, no, let me reword that. You set about wanting to debunk it because you didn't think oh, it was for real. Oh boy. But, but uh, <clears throat> people got turned and here you are today. So tell us yeah. what happened, Jeffrey. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, I, this was back in, <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun. Uh, this was back in uh, probably September, maybe October of 2018. I had a friend, his name was Jim uh, from uh, Virginia. Mm -hmm. and we had done some uh, online things. I actually, in looking back, I was uh, part of CTFO, which is a, the big CBD thing that was going quite, kind of kind of crazy at the time, and I had just put out a book that was called, you know, the history of hemp and the the growing CBD revolution or whatever. Uh, incidentally, just as an interesting point, you've got your program called the Takeaway. That was the the first Christian book that I ever put out. Was called the Takeaway. So as oh. soon as I, I heard yours, I'm like, oh, I'm going to like this. So Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of neat. So, but anyway, I just put out the, the hemp book and he and I were in CTFO and about three weeks after I talked to him, he sent me an email wanting me to look it on passing. Um, I really wasn't interested. I didn't want him to do anything else. You know, I was a member of uh, two big organizations. CTFO was one of them. And, you know, I had a lot of people under there and I, I was okay. I was like, you know, I, I was on a personal journey that had just started about six months earlier. I'm still on it today, loving life. But I, I kind of ignored the first email and then he sent me another one and then he called. Hey, you get my email? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just really busy. He said, come on, just take a look at it. I said, all right, I'll take a look at it. Give, give me a few days. I've got a line of... But I tell you what, I'm going to put it together because I've heard what you said and it doesn't sound to me like it's going to work. But I'll show you why. Instead of just saying, okay, I'll look, I'll show you why it won't work. So I did. I started Googling, 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 you know, and I got the, first, you know, the four or five bad things out there. The uh, fake office in uh, India, the, you know, just the stupid stuff that is out there that people just put out there. That was the first stuff I came up with. And I said, uh oh, so I documented. OK, got this, got this, got this, got this. Well, I did that for four or five days, got as much of the information as I could. But there wasn't it. And it, it, there just was no real information, nothing you could sink your teeth into, right, to prove one way or the other. Right. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to spend the 97 bucks to get in because <laughs> That's where the information is apparent. So I bought into it. And I started looking at, I mean, immediately I thought, you know what? 
I paid my dues. I'm getting my money's worth. And I went in there and every webinar that was in there, everything that was in there, any marketing, everything. I mean, it was a new co-founders. There wasn't a lot to it. There was a whole lot of, it, it, it wasn't well organized. It was just, you know, everything was starting. It was, it was just starting. And after I started really getting a, a hold of what was in the back office, I thought, okay, well, they're not going anywhere yet. So they're still in the planning stages, but there's still really no good information. I need more. And then, so that's when I jumped on a live webinar with Ash. Okay. Now, I was, I liked Ash from, from day one in the sense that he had this funny way of talking. Like English was not his first language. And I liked how he said things. And, and I know that sounds a little weird, but I listen to people and I listen to how they speak and what they say. And I try to read between lines and really get a sense of the person. And I thought to myself, oh man, you know, I don't know who this Mr. Ash guy is, but he needs to get somebody on these webinars that knows how to talk because he is not doing himself any favors. And, and, and I wrote that down and I was going to tell Jim and the whole nine yards. Um, I think it was like the third webinar that, that I listened to him. And by, I mean, the first one, I thought, oh man, who is this guy? He's obviously, he doesn't need to be doing webinar. I mean, that's what I thought, but I mean, he was very, he, he was smart. You know, it, it wasn't that he wasn't articulate. He just, it was all over the place, you know, it, it wasn't structured. So about the third webinar in listening to him, I, I really connected with the message and the message was, we're gonna do something that hasn't been done and we're working on it. And we're, we're, we're making things brand new and everything that we do is gonna be for the founders and we're going to try to launch in the next few months. But I mean, at the point, we don't even have a name yet, but we're just getting off the ground. So it's a good time for you to get in because we're trying to figure this thing out. I mean, that was a message that I really got from him, although he, he had said a lot of things about it. Right. And I thought, OK, well, not so bad. I mean, and this has been now three, four weeks that I've been working on this document. And after the third webinar with Mr. Mufara, I was really hooked. And I wasn't hooked so much on, on passive because I really didn't get it. But I was hooked on him. Mm -hmm. I, I had faith. I, I resonated with him. I was on the same frequency with him. I understood what he was trying to get at, where he was trying to go. I understood the magnitude of what it was that he was trying to do. But there still really wasn't anything there. But I knew where he wanted to go. And I thought, wow, you know, if this thing really takes off, this is going to explode because, and I can tie this all into my personal journey, which started with me writing a bunch of uh, biblically based, you know, Christian books mm -hmm. on my own journey to find who am I, where, where, do, where does Jeffrey fit in mm -hmm. and what is Jeffrey's message? You know, that sort of thing. And so when I started to write all this stuff down with Mr. Mufara centered in the on passive and the go founders, which at the time it was it was go founders. We, we didn't know what on passive was. It, it was go founders. And I thought to myself, then this could really be something big. And I see that this could shape into something because there's a lot of a lot of turmoil going on in the world that I see. Mm -hmm. So I started writing and switched it all in, formatted it. I think it was probably, now I didn't join until November. So this was December, probably January, going into January of uh, 2019. And we had hit double digits. I think we were 10, 11,000 uh, by February or something, or I can't remember offhand. And I had pretty much finished the first round, and I thought I'm going to use this ebook as a marketing tool for anybody that wants it. Oh, sweet. I mean, okay, so I started. Anybody that wanted the book, I started putting the book out. And you know, I mean, I would add to it. The more I learned, I'd add a little more, 
and I would use it in my own emails, you know, and I started doing some marketing and stuff like that. Well, uh, apparently Cindy and some of the, some of the then leaders uh, got a hold of the book and they thought, wow, this is great. And somehow Mr. Bufara got a hold of it and he thought it was pretty cool too. And that started my whole role really with on passing. Um, I mean, when I first came in, my idea, Tyra, was, okay, I see where this is going. It's going to take a little while. I'm going to get me and my wife, my three kids. I'm going to get some of my in-laws. I'm going to buy a few extra. I'm thinking if I get 10 positions, I'm golden. I can sit back on my butt. I got time. I can collect Social Security in a couple of years. No problem. You know, I've got a retirement from the military. I'm good to go. Well, I'll tell you what. Misty Mufara reached out to me. And at the point that he did that, we talked about a lot of his vision and I started to get to know him more. And the, the more, the more I, I talked with him, the more I just, you know, I felt where he was going and I, the enormity of this started to grow with me, grow. And I was like, wow, you know, what have I gotten myself into here? This is, this is, this is going to be something. So he, you know, he wanted to know, you know, what I helped do some things and it started with the webinars, you know, with uh, Mr. Oh, oh, I just had a brain bubble. Um, the first guy that was doing the webinars. Scott? Scott, Scott Nelson. Scott. Scott Nelson, yeah. And he said, well, I, I've got Mr. Nelson here and he's, he's given the webinars and what we need is somebody that's got their feet in go founders understand it and he says you know what i think you understand it i think you get it will you do a webinar so i did like the next three webinars and sent them to him and to god so they started doing my webinars and then he was saying you know that, that he wanted some uh videos for on passive.com you do some videos and i was like all right all right i heard you that's the third time i guess you want me to do some videos so I did a video. I said, I don't do video. I never did videos, but he, but he, you know, I, I, I love the man. What, what can I say? He, he was, he just kind of came alongside of me and he, you know, I've never done any of this, right? But I loved it. I loved the, the immersion that I got in what was becoming fast, becoming the GoFounders on Passive Culture. And the more I got to know him, the more I understood where he wanted to go and how big this was getting. And that's when I started tying it into a lot of the things that were going on with the world. I mean, I get goosebumps right now. I wish I had a camera I can show you. I get goosebumps when I think about how on passives timing is so perfect. I'm telling you, Mr. Mufaro was born for this time right now, this time. It's on passives time. He was born to be it. He was born to bring it into fruition. He was born to do this. And it will catapult him. And I, make no mistake, I, my hat is off to the man. Absolutely. He has gone from zero to 60 and, wow. and, you know, and his learning curve. Think about it. Think about it. Here's a guy that's been doing marketing, kind of low key, very successful, never owned his own business. He started out with a $100,000 platform, right, with a three month window to launch. And the GoFounders was so successful. And part of the reason that I believe it has been so successful is because of the mindset of the people that get in here. Oh, man, they're going to be writing about it in history books. They, they will. I'm glad this is going to be archived somewhere with my passage. Getting back to the ebook, that's how it started. I mean, if it wasn't for Mr. Mufara, it, it wouldn't have been. Uh, it, it was just a marketing piece that I had started for me and I started giving it away. Um, and that's what, that's what he's doing. And that's like I said, in the last video, you know, this, when, when, when we give things away, when we give value and we're not charging for it, that value is coming back to us. I mean, biblically, that's as sound as it gets the, the law of sowing and reaping, you know, uh, God's very clear when he says, I dare you see if you can out give me, you can't do it. The more you give, and it's a law, you know, it's a law. The more you give. Providing it's with the right motivation and mindset, right? 
you can't you can't give expecting oh if I give you this you're going to get a lot more back and it, it's not going to work. You've got to give with a good heart. And Mr. Mufara has got the best heart that I've ever seen, and he is more than willing to stand up and at cost and severe cost to himself and those around him. He is building this and making this and pushing this whole on passive thing forward. And man, when she finally launches, oh, hold on to your hat. Because you know what? The, the world is going to recognize, and this is what I this is where I see Mr. Mufar going. When you have something like on passive and we start getting answers from on passive and we start recognizing on passive. The world will recognize on passive and then they'll go, oh, Mr. Mufara is the one that did this. If it, if it hadn't been for Mr. Mufara, um, I wouldn't have had nearly as much fun as I'm having. Right. And, and, and I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I don't have a negative bone in my body. I'm objective. I am very, very patient. And I see, you know, so clearly, even months and months and months ago, how big this thing would be. And I thought, I've got a message. And now that he's shown me how to do videos, that message is going to get out. <laughs> That's what I do. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Jeffrey. That is so awesome. You know, this is the beauty of if people would do their due diligence and dig in and look into on passive, even though they may be trying to debunk it. But looking yeah. at it, sure. the more you look at it, the more you see the transparency and all the things that you spoke about. And the compassion, compassion is the key to one pass. It's not about being profitable uh, or, or uh, being in a business or financial concept alone. It's about doing what's right because it's right. And knowing that when you are of that mindset and you're doing something and you're putting that value out there and it's a free value to those that will come and take it, whoever wants to, right? That value is going to come back in, in an awesome, a, a tsunami. I'm telling you, <laughs> you wait, you wait, man alive, Ash, Ash, oh, he may have an idea of what he started here, but my guess is it's a lot bigger than he even thinks it's going to be five years from now. He will be a household name. I mean, on passive, five years from now, we will we will have you know a billion and a half, two two and a half billion customers, you know, in, in our in our base. It's 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 just the math. It's the math. Think about it. If if we have a hundred million, hundred million by the end of the first year, we can if if we end up with seven hundred and fifty thousand or even a million founders. That's one founder every 200 square miles on this earth that's going to positively affect, right? Because we're going to make sure the money's there. That, that's what this is about. It's not about making a few people rich. It's about lifting people up. And the best way you do that is through distributed systems. So this is what, this is another thing that I was talking about when I'm passing that makes it so sweet is that everything is going to decentralize systems. Everything we've got is going decentralized because people don't trust it, right? So now that you've got on passive, on passive is following right in. I, did he mean to do it? Probably not. It just worked out that way. And that's the genius of it. You know, I mean, he's got blessing upon blessing in this place, right? So, but when you take funds, money, currency, profit from a hundred million, two hundred million, a billion people. It's all coming into on passive and it's flowing right back out through a district, not through a central core. It's not like Google with their board members getting filthy billion rich or, or you know, the, you know, the people out the there the face of the world. Right. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> he is putting all of that, the, the profit that they have after they pay the bills, after the salaries, at, I'm sure they'll have what I call a sinking fund. They're going to put money aside for a rainy day, but there's going to be a ton of money left over, right? And that money is all going to be funneled right through the fun, through the through the founders, and it's going to trickle, and it's going to be a net, an economic net for the globe because we're going to have more than we need, which translates into local economies, into families. People are going to start charities, and they're going to understand 
gee, the more I give, the more I get. Imagine that. And wouldn't and that's what that's the big thing about our passive. It's not about trying to get in to make a buck. That's the kind of leader we want. We want that founder. That's why I tell people at the end of my video, if this video resonates with you, you're the person that we want. If it, if it makes sense to you and you get goosebumps, that is you identifying, the spirit's identifying with you saying, this is a good thing. You need yeah. to get in it. Yeah. But people think I'm a little crazy when I say that. But when they learn it, I mean, I know this stuff. So yeah. I, it's great. I, this is oh, absolutely man. phenomenal. And we are riding this wave right into the future and we are changing mankind we're changing the economy and we are lifting people up and blessing people and it's all because one man had a vision and he stuck to it and he said we're going to do this or die we're going to do it or die that was the first thing out of his mouth when he did this we're going to do it or die and we're going to do it right we're not going to do it halfway we're going to do it right we're going to do it fancy we're going to do it good and we're going to do it forever so life is good <laughs> oh perfect Perfect. That's just oh, awesome. Well, you get me on a soapbox. I'll talk to oh. you. It's allowed to go anywhere. Oh, man. So you guys that are listening, I mean, there is such a huge takeaway here. You know, here's, here's Jeffrey started off thinking, well, I'm going to prove this wrong. And the more he looked and the more he learned. And now you see him today. I mean, what? he's got- Who does that? Passion. Who does that? Who says- we're going to lift up humanity. Okay, I've heard that one before, right? I'm like, no, uh-uh. Because it will take you millions yeah. and millions of dollars, and nobody does that. Right. And that's, that's the key. We're about connectedness and mutual benefit and doing what's right because it's right and lifting people up. And if my neighbor doesn't have as much as I do, then I need to walk across the street and help that neighbor and lift that neighbor up to where I am. Yes. yes. Period. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That is that is so awesome. You know, Jeffrey Mann, if anyone has watched, is watching or has is going to be watching this, this is truly gonna get them ignited because you can't you can't listen to someone with that kind of passion and step away and just eh, whatever. You know, as soon as you start speaking about things that lift up humanity and and help the person help somebody else and it is i mean we live too long in this idea of dog eat dog and here we are going back you know i think of my my grandmother well baba in ukrainian coming to this country well how did the pioneers survive they survived right. because they helped each other. It was a community. And it, yeah. it's so yeah. completely refreshing to see on passive being a facilitator of that kind of attitude. And man, Jeffrey. Oh, it is. And, and you know what? We owe it all to Ash Mufar. Uh, I just, you know, today's world, where we're going, it is primed and ready, and it is no accident that on passive is raising, raising the bar. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's got his own class. This is the beginning. There will be people that come after us and try to emulate us, but they will never, ever be able to do what we've done. We've got a heart. And that's the bottom line. Pick up a, a founder's position. Get on board. Work toward the launch. Get your feet in here. Get your heart in here. Focus on on passive and growing on passive for the reason that on passive is growing, and everything else that you want is going to be sucked right into the vacuum behind you as you're moving forward. All that money you want, the friendships you want, the good feelings that you want. That's why we make any decision in the world. It's so we feel better, no matter what it is. Whatever decision you make, it's because you think you're going to feel better when you make that decision because that's the way we're all made. Ash sees that, he's made that way, he's made on passive that way, and that is the on passive message. That, you know what? In that, we now have 650 some thousand founders with a certain attitude, right? With a certain motivation, and it's a good motivation. Right? You've got intention. Do you know how, how powerful that is? Yeah. It's no wonder that we're going gangbusters. And it, yeah. it's no wonder to me that this is, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wish I had more time. I know I just blew that 10 minutes out of the water. I'm sorry. 
Well, you know, on that note, Jeffrey, we're going to wrap it up because that really, that really said it all in, in me asking you the question about trying to debunk something and, and because of the heart and the compassion in Ash Mufara, it yeah. just completely turned you around and oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So anybody watching this, enjoy, share it because this is a thing on passive has heart. So yeah, Jeffrey, oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm really oh, my glad pleasure. to the time today. That was great. You get to see my son. I was out in the sun all day long. So. Yeah. yeah, good. All right. Well, thank you very much. Have a super evening. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye-bye.